Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO uh, How to Build video from Brick by Brick. Today I'm going to show you guys how to build an arcade machine. I'm going to be using the design from the uh, uh, Midway Arcade Level Pack with, um, you know, the Defender printed tiles. But you can use any kind of um, 2x4 tile that you'd like. Uh, it can have printing on it, no printing. It'll still look somewhat like an arcade machine without printing. Especially with these ones, you do kind of need some kind of screen tile, which here I have the little Defender one, the printed one, and the uh, one by 2 Defender printed tile. This one you can have any kind of little logo, but, um, you know, it'll all kind of, you know, look somewhat like an arcade machine. But the parts that you are going to need, you're going to need two 1x2 two bricks. Uh, this will be in, you know, your first color, which will be no, dark green in this case. And then two, did I, if I said 1x2, I meant 1x1. One one. But you're going to need two of these 1x1s one with the one side stud. Two 2x3 two plates in that color. And two 1x3 plates. In the next color, you're going to have a 1x2 brick, three 1x2 plates in this case. Uh, some of these, you know, you could put together as multiple kind of pieces. But, uh, you know, it's just going to be a little bit different because this is the dimensions version. And I'll point those out when I get there. But for the, you know, as built or as... Um, instructed dimensions version you're gonna um, have these pieces so one two by two two of these two by four wedge plates double wedge and then two of these gray bricks with uh you know two side studs on there that's um and this can be in any color really it doesn't stand out too much i guess the less um, conspicuous and more neutral the better but um in this case, it's kind of uh, kind of doesn't matter too much. We also have one of these uh, one of these two by two bricks with the two uh, two by two plates with the side studs. Kind of a weird part, but hard to describe. <laughs> two cheese slopes. I believe you could combine these into a one by two cheese slope if you like, and a one by two tile. Uh, that one is for, you know, the green color in this case, or color B. Consider this color A and this color B. They could also be the same if you'd like. And these are kind of for the technical parts, so the black probably works best. But you have one hinge and hinge uh, brick. So the two hinge parts. One of these bricks with the two bars coming off the sides. Two um, uh, studs with holes in them. Donut studs. <laughs> And then the 1x2 tile here is going to be for the little floor, so any color really. And then a microphone piece. Doesn't have to be the specific print of microphone, but this one works pretty well for, you know, what it's going to be used for. So now that we have gone through the parts, um, and I guess I'll probably have put a link in the comments for you to skip to the actual build part, but you're going to take the two wedge pieces this is just how they do it in the level pack you can pretty much do this base however you want and start with this piece which I'll probably show at the end it's just easier to be building on something so this is kind of a nice small base to work with and after this you are going to put a tile there this again is going to be right in front of the machine so it's going to be kind of just sitting there, really. But then you can put another one by two plate, and then the one with the two bars on the edges, right there. And here in the back, we have the two bricks with the studs on the side. You could just use regular bricks here, um, but this kind of it allows for blending of the two color schemes. That's kind of what it's for. These two one by two plates could be substituted. For a one or for a two by two plate, so 
or whatever works best for you. And then here, this could be two one by threes or one two by three, either one. Kind of gets the uh, like you could also use some green in the front and dark green in the back, whichever one you prefer. And then here we have the two by two inverted slope, which I actually don't know if I mentioned in the parts list, which kind of a mistake, but you know. But you do need one of those. And put the two studs with holes in them on the front. And now, this is kind of an important part. And if you use these in green, then you could avoid the uh, whole, you know, studs on the back. That's kind of what I was talking about with blending the color schemes together. But um, two of those facing opposite directions. And now we're going to put the uh, hinge plate here. And you're going to put it together, you know, put the hinge, both parts. I mean, you can do them separately if you want. But then you're going to put the screen on the hinge. And that's going to kind of allow you to angle the screen. This is probably, a, like, it's, you don't want it straight up and down, which you could easily do with a bracket. You want it kind of tilted back. So that's what you're going to do. And then you can continue with uh, the dark green color scheme in the back. And a 1x2 brick will allow, um, first of all, to continue the color scheme, but it also allows you to push this uh, screen back to a good, you know, standard angle. And up on the top, it would be great if you could get this piece in, like, the green color. I think that would look better than what I currently have here, but this is just the way it's done in the level pack, so I'm going to stick with that. going to keep it simple for this uh, particular video. But, uh, you know, the, uh, kind of uh, in the level pack, I, I, I guess I'll show you that in a minute, but um, we'll stick the microphone in there. And then we have the Defender tile logo for the top. And then the two side tiles can go right on like that. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of gray up there. That's why it would be ideal if you could get this piece in a different color. And we also cover up some of the back with a 2x2. Two two. But um, I purposely made this a little bit shorter than, um, you know, than you're instructed to because I still think that it looks good at this height especially with that down there and I wanted to leave a 2x3 tile to show you that you can go like that and that will cover up the whole back I think that looks good but the real way that you're supposed to do it is like this and it makes it a little bit taller but at the same time it kinda makes it so that that plate right there doesn't really cover the back at all, which is kind of like the, the gray doesn't get covered up. So I don't know. I kind of prefer the uh, the shorter look, but you know, whatever. And as I mentioned earlier, you can just remove that right there to get this base like that, and still. It's a good height for a figure. It's still a little bit big, actually. So, and you can also kind of just remove that whole bottom section and go like that, but that gets a little bit short. But that looks pretty good. And kind of you know, the multiple different ways that you can modify the uh, arcade machine from the Midway Arcade Pack. I think, all in all, um, this was a great little build just to do. Definitely something that would be nice to get a couple of and then, you know, change out the printed tiles, make a couple different arcade games. I might do uh, some attempts at modifying this, making a couple others, um, especially if I can find uh, a couple more of these microphone parts. I think I have some from the Big Friends Grand Hotel set. I think I should have one of these 
and maybe an extra from this set, I think. So if I can get a couple more joysticks, maybe I'll put together a couple more of these. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all later. Let me know if you did, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see a how-to-build kind of video for. I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.